Stop the FOMO. What you all been waiting for, the Hisense H9F review. Not the entire review, part one of the review. I'm geeking out on these reviews right now. And specifically, today will be motion and upscaling, or rather upscaling, then motion. And before I get started, I want to strongly suggest that if you're serious about making sure your TV looks good, motion specifically, please get the Hand Forged Collection by Spear and Munsell, Spears and Munsell, the UHD HDR benchmark. 4K HDR updated, includes HDR 10 plus and Dolby Vision. Right here in the back, what you're gonna see is a little demo material on this Blu-ray disc. We'll be comparing the Hisense H9F down there with the Sony A9G and the Samsung Q90R. Both of these sets are well known for their motion handling and upscaling. So yeah, let's see how Hisense manages to keep up with the best. More importantly, why am I not comparing to the Vizio P Quantum X? Because frankly, it didn't do so well. You, you may see it in some of the comparisons, but I'm not gonna embarrass the PQX. It'll have its own review, but I'll tell you right now, the high sense is killing the PQX in many respects. But specifically today, it's great job in motion, very good upscaling, and it doesn't embarrass itself when it compares to the flagships. So let's get started. What we have here is 480p upscale of The Martian. Notice the Vizio looks smaller. Yes, folks, it shrunk. Uh, now, the other three sets did not cheat to get a little bit higher resolution. Notice the diagonal lines, specifically that line behind the laptop. Not bad. The Hisense does do okay, especially if you compare it above to the Q90R. I would take it. The issue with the PQX shrinking the box like that, some people might like it. Frankly, I didn't think it needed to do that because the high sense on that side screen looked good. Now, let's look at the color. How does it upscale 480p? The Sony is known for incredible upscaling color. Color accuracy, that whole X1 Ultimate chip. But you know what? We're on Mars. And Mars is a red planet. And the Hisense, maybe it knows it's a red planet. It looks red. Is it accurate? Maybe not. But frankly, it's okay. I think it's consistent with the creator's intent. What do you think? That's not to say that the Sony is wrong, but I'm not saying the Hisense looks bad either. Now we go to a classic. This is a 720p rendition of Princess Bride. Again, you can see the Hisense has a slight different tint, but Fortunately, the P Quantum X did not shrink the screen. Look closely at the high sense as I'm going to compare it to the Sony. And it still looks okay as well here as a 720p. Most content from the cable company is also 720p. Broadcast could be 720p. Please ignore the reflection of the Sony A9G. That is an artifact. My bad. I should have checked the windows. Anyhow, we move on. This is Ready Player One. This scene was selected because of all the diagonal, vertical, horizontal lines. It helps you identify how the upscale works with 480p and once again, how do we know it's 480p? Let's check out the P Quantum X. Yep, just a little bit smaller. Anyhow, Hisense doing okay. Above it, 
Q90R, and the A9G is above the P quantum X. Things are looking okay. I don't see any issues. Would not prevent me from buying the Hisense H9F. If you look at the resolution of the detail, not too much is lost. Frankly, it's pretty acceptable. Now, it's a little bit lifted in the darks, but it's not so bad. The Sony A9G is not that much better. Maybe a little better contrast, but after all, without it side by side like this, you wouldn't be able to tell. The Hisense is that good. And for $900, I wouldn't throw it out of bed. Come now. Now, if you notice the tiny little details, the staircase, the windows, everything is there. I don't see any artifacts. Also possibly, the DVD slash Blu-ray quality, if it's a high quality disc, it'll have an easier time upscaling. But let's just say the X1 Ultimate chip is not as far ahead as Sony might want you to think because the Hisense is supposed to be a no-name chip. Now, let's go to something that might challenge the Hisense a bit. As you can see in this scene, the lighting, yeah, it's a little off. This is a little obvious. Now remember, I have the sets calibrated. In this scene, you can't tell that the colors are a little off. Anytime a white is supposed to be white, the high sense has a slight yellow tint. So when you're watching movies like Logan or The Martian, here we go to motion. Now this is off of the Spears and Munsell disc. It tests for motion. And as you can see, if you compare what Hisense H9F is doing with the Q90R above and the Sony to the diagonal top left, it's not bad. And once again, I'd like to apologize for the reflection. Damn window. Anyway. Check it out. Not bad. Well, it's just a measurement after all. Now what the hell's happening here with the Sony? Frankly, I was shocked when I saw this. The heck? So the Hisense, I have to laugh because it looks better than the other three. And folks, it looks exactly how I saw it. This is not my camera. I mean, I got a close up on the Sony. I honestly don't know what the deal is with this. It must be an artifact of an OLED. Now this sort of craziness doesn't happen on a movie I've seen, but for sure, it's a fail. High sense? Hey, gotta admit, it looks pretty good. So if all I do is watch test patterns all day, got a winner there. Samsung, pretty good, as expected. But the Sony, my God, the hell? Anyway, here they are again. And I gotta tell ya, I wonder if the Sony boys are watching this. What is that? It even looks worse in person, my goodness. So, as you can see, the Hisense does pretty well on test patterns. This pattern tests resolution and it's not very good. So we'll go to something more practical. Motion as it moves across the screen. This is what you're going to see in slow moving scenes and pans. I don't know if you could see it in a close up or not, but right now, Hisense looks okay. More specifically, the colors on the high sense look pretty great. In this one, I can see some jet in the Vizio. Yep, motion issues on the Vizio for sure. 
High sense, not bad. As a matter of fact, the color is great. Sony, of course, very good in the blues. This is a good pan right here. Going vertical. Let's check it out. Not bad at all. High sense is doing well compared to the others. This is a great scene because as the building moves across, track that bird. This is from the Planet Earth Part 2 from the BBC. Here you see motion, panning, slow motion. The high sense isn't bad. And I have to mention, this is all in 4K. So there's no upscaling here. It's full 4K motion, folks. As we continue with the test, you notice how when this, oh, this is Netflix, Lost in Space. This is where the P Quantum X does not do so well. The judder is very apparent. The high sense does about as well as the others. We move on. You see the P Quantum X? Yeah, issues right there. Again, I don't know how Hisense did it, but for under $1,000, man, looking good. Now for our next episode, I'd like to give you a sneak peek into what is HDR 10 Plus versus Dolby Vision, folks. Oh yeah, Alita. As you can see, you're going to get a head-to-head. -head. Oh yeah.